Hello, beautiful people of YouTube, and happy belated New Year's. I know I'm a couple days late from the holiday, but I still want to take um, this time to talk about some New Year's resolutions and why they maybe don't always go according to plan like we would have hoped. Many people this time of year will post to their social media or tell their friends and family, New Year, New Me. I'm not saying anything's wrong with this, but I'm thinking maybe a better slogan is New Year, Same Me. Before you go and get uninspired, let me explain what I mean. Nobody, and I mean nobody, sits there on December 31st at 11.59 p.m. And then when the clock strikes midnight, they turn into a new version of themselves. I'm all one for new beginnings and having resolutions and having goals for the new year as it's almost like a reset period. However, I don't think that we should negate the fact that these changes don't come like a flip of the switch. They take time, they take patience and self-reflection and work. And I think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to get it right the first time, um, to follow through perfectly with how we're going to implement these resolutions and these changes. The fact of the matter is, is you're still you. You're still going to battle with the same behaviors and the habits and even just Things that life throws your way in the mix of it all that can cause you to not be able to follow through with your resolutions maybe as quickly or as effectively as you would like. This is why I think many of us tend to struggle with actually completing the resolutions that we set out for ourselves on January 1st is because we get discouraged and frustrated. Um, and I think that's why New Year Say Me can almost be a reliever of some of that pressure to not have to be perfect straight out of the gate. There's a lot of things um, that we want to change about ourselves for the better, which is great, but I think we have to realize that maybe starting with baby steps or short-term goals can help us eventually reach the long-term goals. It's fine to dream big, but it's also good to be practical and realistic. So I don't know what all of your New Year's resolutions are, but there are some important things to think about when you're trying to gradually become a better version of yourself for 2019. The first of those is being realistic. Like I just said, is it actually practical to achieve what you are hoping to? Do you have the resources? Do you have the time um, to do some of these things? And I don't think there's anything wrong with analyzing your lifestyle or your behaviors and being realistic with yourself. Again, those baby steps might actually help to improve your overall effectiveness of reaching your goal um, in the manner that you want to. The second thing is having an accountability partner. Not only is this good to have someone that encourages you, but also, the more we talk about something, the more we tell people we're going to do it, I think the more inclined we are to actually follow through with it. So having a person or people in your life that will not only encourage you, but also keep you accountable to do what you say you're going to do, I think is something that is really effective no matter what your resolution may be. The third thing is to have grace for yourself. Give yourself some slack. Uh, it's not always an easy process depending on what your goal is. And like I said, it might take longer depending on your lifestyle or where you live or what you do. And that's okay. I think, uh, you know, giving yourself that kindness and that reassurance that it's okay to not be perfect out the gate um, is something that is going to, in the long run, make your resolution go a lot more smoothly. And the fourth thing that I think a lot of people skip over is actually knowing how you're going to accomplish your goal. Uh, a lot of us will say, I'm going to do this or I want to do this, and that's great. But I think when you sit down and actually implement and try to figure out how you're going to implement that new behavior into your life, it puts things into a better perspective and can keep you on track a little bit more than just saying that you're going to do something and not really knowing how. Um, so those four things uh, I think are super important to consider when you are trying to achieve your resolutions and your New Year's goals.
As for me, I'm sure most of you can tell that this vlog is definitely one of my biggest resolutions. Um, I see how it might go. I kind of have a vision for it, but even if it doesn't go how I plan, I just intend to have fun doing it, learn about myself, and learn about things along the way. And I think that's one of the greatest attitudes that you can have towards something is not always knowing exactly how it's going to pan out, but knowing that you will get something out of it regardless. Um, and that goes for resolutions or anything in life. People will talk about having a word for the new year, something that sums up all of their goals, um, all their resolutions, kind of into one. Um, so I want to share mine with you. For me, 2019 is all about being rooted. Um, I think that that not only applies to my faith um, in having a deeply connected relationship with God, but also in anything, in my studies, in my career, um, in, even in this blog project. I think having something to be rooted in is not only what keeps you grounded, but it nourishes you um, and it brings you joy and, and gives you almost like a drive and a purpose to your life. Um, I think if you don't have anything to be rooted in, then how are you supposed to grow? Um, so that's what I want 2019 to be about for me personally, is about growth and about bearing good fruit um, that can only come from being rooted in all that I do and through all that I do. Um, I also took to Instagram to ask some of my friends what their words for 2019 was, and they had some really great answers. Um, they said anything from limitless, selfish, love, potential, perseverance, and balance. I think all of those are great words that a lot of us can cling to and relate to as we continue to try and be successful in our resolutions and our goals. In typical fashion, I want to end this a vlog with a quote. Um, this actually is going to come from a sermon I listened to by Pastor Stephen Furtick. Um, if you watched my first video about introducing myself, I am a Christian, and Stephen Furtick is one of my favorite preachers to listen to. Uh, this was the final sermon he gave in 2018. It was actually on New Year's Eve, and it's called Come Through Drippin'. Um, I highly encourage you to watch it, even if you're not really religious. He says a lot of relatable things about life in general, but also about transitioning into 2019 and how to be successful in that um, and come through dripping. So with that being said, uh, one thing he did mention in the sermon was that resolutions are cheap. Um, resilience is priceless. And I think there's no better way to sum up uh, this really transitional uh, year between 2018 and 2019 for a lot of us been in that quote. Um, so the link for that video will be in the description. Uh, they're gonna highly encourage you to watch it. It was really life-giving and empowering to you know succeed at all of your resolutions and goals for this new year. So with that, I'd love to encourage you to follow me on my social media platforms right here on these links to my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Twitter. Also click that subscribe button right down at the bottom of this video. Please feel free as always to comment um, anything, questions, new topics that you'd like me to cover, um, or just any comments about this video. I really appreciate you all spending time with me. Thank you for taking the time out to be with me and watching this vlog, and I hope to see you again soon.